hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today we bring to you updates from the palace of oni of ife following the advent of rumors spreading about the sisters of the oni of ife that they are the ones meddling in the affairs of the oni's marital life they have decided to come out and let the world know that no slandering will be allowed as this will be taken up legally it is not allowed and these are the things that you guys need to know and understand that we have our businesses we have our lives and families and we do not even reside in the palace we live in lagos and you guys need to get your facts right any blogger any social media platform any media house any archer jobber watch what they say publicize about the sisters of the palace and also the family at large if not this will be taken up legally considering the situation at hand right now over the issue of oni of ife and queen naomi the sisters were being blamed for the discord between the monarch and your strange wife of the monarch but in a statement signed by princess falashade ogunwusi fadairo she described every claim as false and untrue the statement was titled campaign of calumny against the honor of ilefe and the royal sister this title simply means campaign for misinterpretation and false statements against someone by tarnishing the person's reputation that's like the simple word um simple meaning for calumny the royal statement read as thus and i quote we refer to the campaign of calumny presently ongoing in media blogs media houses on social media and by archer jobbers against our family targeting us the sisters of the only of ife has been the cause of any or all forms of misunderstanding or imaginary problems in the palace these despicable humans have been circulating the fake news on various fake media outlets on matters none of them have an inkling of but will like to speak with unreserved authority and quote i specifically love the choice of words used in the statement uh, the sisters are calling now despicable humans who are circulating fake news actually and uh, misrepresenting them and also tarnishing the image of the sisters and your name self in general he continued in their statement and i quote in his eminent wisdom kbc from inception has separated the entire family from the activities of ruling our people fought rightly without any hindrance his selection of who should be his oloris is also done without any form of hegemony or disturbance from any of us or the family we support our oloris and have kept away from any of the matters concerning the private life of our revered king and father we have continually been inundated on many social media fake and real of our supposed intrusion into kabisib's private life some of the fake information has continually claimed that we the royal sisters ye ye one ye ye two ye ye three ye ye four live in the palace and use up all madness of communications and or information concerning the daily activities of the palace this is totally untrue damning and slanderous since the honor of ife ascended the throne of our forefathers none of us the sisters has ever lived in the palace and none of us have ever been overtly or covertly being involved in any of the day-to-day -day activities of the palace we do not make decisions whatsoever and only visit the palace when there are special events that our family the gac family are required to be involved according to the tradition we all live in lagos in our different homes with our different families and are extremely busy with our businesses we have never stopped praying for the success of our revered king peace in yoruba land and prosperity to all our people and quote it was the campaign released by the sisters of the royal family this statement is quite majestic and i appreciate every choice of words used by the royal sisters this statement is detailed and concise at the same time not too much not too short but at the same time it picks every necessary details needed for the members of the public to understand where the sisters of the only of ife stands and what they stand for this is truly truly majestic and royalty it speaks well the sister also for that said legal actions will be taken against media outlets that publish on savory and unverified claims about them this concise except read to your hearing was made available by the punch 
The branch also made mention that since the split between Oni of Ife and Evangelist Daomi had occurred on social media, many Yoruba monarchs and elders, including the DG of Akure Opa Alade Toyimbo Alade Lucy, have tried to reconcile the two or strange couples, but the peace talk have not yielded any result no to the public before being coronated king the only was previously married to adebukola bombata in 2008 but the marriage failed as a monarch the only married edo bon zainab otiti or banon in 2016 but the union lasted for 17 months before their separation and the recent development was the one with shilekonla in 2018 and the marriage produced a son whose name is called Tadeni Kawo before the divorce announcement on social media. The monarch also has a daughter with Omolara Olutumbosun as a teenager and gave birth to Princess Adeola Ogunwoshi. This was when he was away from the shores of Nigeria abroad. Initially, to the members of the public, the palace said there was no fight between the Oni and his wife as they both went to bed, if we could recall vividly and now they are now talking about reconciliation if there is no fight what are we reconciling apparently there are two things that are true in this that is the only and queen naomi have issues two it is true that she posted the divorce on social media and now they are finding a way to reconcile together yet once again following the rumored reconciliation of the oni and queen naomi so many nigerians on social media were thrilled this was brought to the public notice by a popular blogger called gistova letting the world know that the queen has decided to return to the palace and all the side chicks are already now in the mud they are being dragged in the mud caption that followed this says and i quote Koishila Kuanla Ogunwusi returns to the palace after plenty pleas from the palace and elders from Akure and Ife met. Side peace in the Modo, Olori, Farampo, won't like this, so I come in peace. On hearing this, so many people started jubilating. But then the fact still remains that we are yet to hear from the queen herself to make the statement letting us know that she is truly back with her one and only true love. When the only media aid was contacted, that is Moses Olafari, debunked every report that the prophetess Naomi has reported to the palace asked if the king and his wife have reconciled he said I am not aware likewise Queen Naomi is not in the palace we are all here with Kabisi he added without giving further details on reconciliation moves according to the punch news well back to the gist that brought us today which is the sisters of the Orni letting the world know that hello we don't live in the palace as some blog house have said we have our lives we have our businesses and we have our own families to look out for but nevertheless we also have very much in mind the interest of yoruba people and the only at heart and no slandry or calumny will be accepted well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe and drop your comments in the comment section below thank you bye